Okay, back to this old uh, 20s house. So this has definitely been changed before. This was probably 50s or 60s. The other one over there, I believe was still the originals from about the 20s or so. This one, and that one, I'm not sure if the box was changed or not, but it was the original style old metal box like this. The only difference is, is you can tell how old they are by on this one right here, it has brass screws with a single slotted thread and they're made out of brass. Uh, that puts you in decades earlier. And, um, the old material cloth winding was, was decaying and falling, it was very brittle. I didn't want to disturb it too much. And the actual rubber that was over the copper wires was deteriorated back here and I didn't want to cut, I didn't want to bend the wires, I didn't unloop them. I actually left them, I took them apart. I did not spread them or straighten them out or anything like that because old copper becomes brittle. And I slipped over shrink wrap, high temperature shrink wrap, going over the material back here and on here so everything is protected and insulated with further insulation for high voltage and heat and um, and this bare wire I covered with a shrink wrap up to there it'll be looped with a friction tape going around protecting the whole thing this is a metal box so I did take the ground and I put a, a ground connected to the box and uh, I scraped off the paint underneath it and connected that to the box right there and I used uh, the self-tapping bits. There was already a hole in that place that I used. And so all I did was thread it because these bits have uh, taps. They're a drill and tap all in one. And then just used one of these and put that there and brought it together. So I didn't disturb any of the wiring in the house. I added a little extra protection. Now what I did notice that this wiring is, uh, the original wiring is actually a little 14 gauge underneath all that insulation and everything like that. It, was, it wasn't 12 gauge, I thought it would be 12 gauge, but in this house it was 14 gauge, what is unusual for my San Francisco houses that I've came through and I have owned houses all the way back, built back in 1917. And uh, they have a 20 amp circuit breaker Somebody replaced the panel downstairs and they have a 20 amp circuit breaker on 14 gauge wire. So I'm gonna have them replace that. Hopefully, if we could put an arc fault and update it, upgrade it to an arc fault um, circuit breaker downstairs and or GFI and find the beginning of this series because this is connected to lights and many other outlets. And so we'd like to find the one on the end so we can put arc fault on there or GFI and get the whole line, the whole row of all these connectors uh, protected from ground fault. But uh, this is only this one will have an actual ground. All the, none of the other ones are gonna have grounds. That'll have a ground, that'll have a ground because the tenant that is moving in here has an older, the big style computer, not a laptop that has a grounding plug and I know memory and video cards and stuff like that get fried when you have no surge protection and you don't have a ground. And that was his stipulation to move in here for the, was to have a ground on an outlet. So out with the old, in with the new. And that's about it. Finish up the other one.